All right, so here I am back in Blender. And now that I have all my stuff really organized as far as a project goes, because I was forced to kind of do that and make it really nice and neat just to get it into the engine, I can now use that to my advantage and say new project, file, save as, and I can save this within my game directory under assets. So I can call this building. Save. I'll just move this over to Maya. And then I go file, import, wait for an object. Then I can go to building, load the building. Then I go to file, import, wait for an object and I can build the canopy. Now I'll need the foundation first. And all these are pretty much in line with where they need to be in life because I've exported each one out. But I might have moved some of them when I did the UVs. Now what you would have to do is go in here and load all your static meshes, back arranged in a nice new fresh scene. That would be stage one. What I'm requiring since this is a Blender class and a Unity class is you do just that. So I want to see that you have the ability to recompile your scene back in Blender and make it so when you open it up it has all the textures. I'm also requiring you to have the Unity project saved as a web. So you're going to have to do this eventually anyway. So you might as well just buck up and take it. Good stuff. No, it can seem quite cruel at times, you know, what the assignments are, but it's all for the better good of you. Now, when I go to textured mode, how much of this stuff is actually being com coming in? Well, just about all of it. Why? Because I was really organized in the methodology that I used. A couple of things might need to be touched up as far as the texture goes. So this item needs to have something else attached to it. But don't forget, my end run is really going over here and looking at the OpenGL version of this because it's more related to game. And there is a actual textured face variation that is super related to game because if you hit P on the keyboard, it has the same shading capabilities of a game. So if you do th see things that don't make sense, as far as like the fabric right here isn't supposed to have that texture, you would have to go in and say, well, that's not test map anymore, that's fabric. Okay. Then you go in here and don't forget that it's very picky about this, but uh, you go and you highlight a component, hit L, and assign that to it. If you want to see it in texture mode, you have to assign it also here. I'm going to require a GLS render because it just makes more sense. And I want you to set your material specularity down to what it needs to be. So if you can make it look good here in GLS, that's what I'm requiring. You also still have the fire escape to do in the back area. 
this is your midterm or not midterm but final project is to composition all this stuff it'll be announced in the actual assignment part of this but here's the brass here's a red door color map so I would need to go in here to the texture and make sure that the red door is being indicated here this is the gold part so there's that again if you go into edit mode hit A you can highlight the whole thing you can assign the red door here and if you just want the brass items to show up because those are a separate type of texture you can go to brass door color map and assign those and change the texture around so this texture would be different from this material this would be the gold so that one brass door then red door would be different L assign that you can see if it's selected or not because you can go deselect select so this one has a different color map altogether so that's one thing that you're gonna have to do Oops, it's this one right here perfect and so this material right here would be with, with no specular and this one would have specular and you can see the intensity is shot to uh, one Alright, once you get all your objects in here as the composition goes, um, then meet me in the next video and I'll show you a way to uh, look at shadow information and how you can transfer shadow information here to Unity. I'm not requiring that part as an actual assignment in the very end, but I just want you to have the information to know how to do it. So recomp recomposition your parts back in Blender and meet me in the next video.